Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 6 of Darwell20's Let's Play series. Uh, where today I'm on a corpse run. Stupid creepers. Blowing me up. I was hunting overnight for uh, Endermen once again, and I wanted to tell you guys I found a couple cool things. But first, let me delete this death point and this other one that happened also between episodes. Uh, hey, I found a waystone. A sandy one, too. Now, I don't think there's any reason to activate this waystone, so I'm going to break it and bring it back to my base, and that'll be cool. Uh, waystones mod is neat. It's, it's basically a way to teleport around. Uh, so you can make regular mossy or sandy waystones. You can craft them, but finding them in the world is obviously cheaper. Uh, and there's a warp stone that you can use to craft them with. It needs emeralds and lots of ender pearls. Uh, and then there's uh, warp scrolls and return scrolls. I kind of forget the difference between them and the warp stone. I don't really know the difference between this and this and this and this. But long story short, I'm pretty sure you can use them to teleport. Um, you know, like use them like an item to teleport. And that's pretty cool. Back to a waystone. So having waystones is nice. Um, and while I was out exploring, I also noticed this little guy. So I was like, hey, uh, you know, I was gonna, I was gonna do some, like, village visiting and whatnot today to get into, uh, enchanting, but, like, let's just take a quick look inside this, uh, temple and see if we can't find anything cool. That's like a plan. I think it sounds like a plan. So I'm just gonna do the old spiral staircase down. Because remember... This is, this is the temple that has a uh, pressure plate with TNT underneath it, right? Isn't that true? Pretty sure that's true. Pretty sure that's what that pressure plate does. See? See? What do we got in here? Ooh, emeralds. Don't mind if I do. Black Lotus. Sacred scroll of regeneration from mine colonies. That's cool. I'm going to put away all this uh, sandstone that I don't need, but I will hang on to the sand, and I'll take the mob drop stuff, because well, why not? It's all good. And I don't think I need this stone pressure plate either. So that looks good. What else do we get in here? A couple of you guys. I don't think I need a saddle. Gold, sure. Don't mind if I do. Also, still don't need a saddle. Uh, nuke virus from Pneumaticraft. I don't know that I need that, but eh, why not? I don't think it's craftable, is the thing. Yeah, used in security station to improve chances of hacking it. I think that's useful on a multiplayer style world, but in a single player world, no. But, alright, just wanted to show you guys me looting this dungeon that I found. That's all there is to these temples, right? Pretty sure that's that's true, right? Um, I don't think there's anything else in these. I might be mistaken, but yeah, we'll find out. Um, what I want to do today is a couple things. One, I need to get better power generation for RF, right? I'm currently just burning through a stupid amount of coal, which is not ideal. I don't want that to be my main source of power anymore. So I want to look into doing the old lava pump out of the nether thing. Uh, so we'll do like, uh, you know, ender tank and we'll do lava pump and, you know, all that good stuff. And I think from there we will send lava power back to our base uh, and, and get that going. Does that sound like a plan? I think that sounds like a fun plan. And then the other thing I want to do today is maybe visit a village and see if we can't get some villagers and do the old lectern type of making a good villager who can do jobs and give me some good enchants type stuff. Because that's kind of the way to do it these days, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, cool. So let's come back in just a moment here once I've got uh, where I need to be for that. And uh, we'll get ready to do it. All right, so I'm getting a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we need to do to make a lava-based energy transfer. Anybody who's played modded Minecraft has probably done something like this before. There are several mods that are, you know, part of this setup. So first off, we need to pump lava out of the nether. There's many different mods that add fluid pumps, but one of the most popular and most well-known is ranged pumps. Uh, this guy ain't bad at all to make. However, I am going to need a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. And I don't think there's lava too far from where I'm at. So maybe we pop outside. I should probably also spend the time to make like an infinite water source. That that feels like a smart move on my part. Uh, but maybe once we get into like a proper base or something, I'll do that. But for now, I'm just going to go snag a bucket of water and a bucket of lava. And that should not be a big deal. So there should be lava-ish in this general direction. There's also oil, you know, around the landscape. I should, should consider doing some kind of oil-based power as well. I just don't know how long this oil is going to last. So there's several approaches we can take towards getting lots of power gen from RF, or, or from thermal. Um, there's also like the tree sap approach. Um, you can do something like, I think, arboreal extractor, if I'm not mistaken, will get you, uh, you know, 
some kind of you can extract sap from trees and then it'll get you some form of power gen that way too we'll probably be looking into lots of different ways to generate rf there's a lot of mods in the pack that generate rf there's a lot of mods in the pack that use rf there will not be a one size fits all solution we will have many different rf things as we progress through the series but i generally feel like the whole lava out of the nether thing is kind of the easiest and quickest way to get going early game and that's absolutely where we still are early game um, so there's your two buckets, lava and water, and that's going to go towards making the ranged pump. Uh, the ranged pump is super cool, uh, super useful mod. It's been around forever at this point. Um, so let's see, ranged pump. The only downside is obviously it costs a bit of diamond, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. Also, I'm a little bit low on obsidian, so maybe I'll come right back after I mine some. I'll tell you what, five by five mining yourself some obsidian is a good time. I'll tell you what else though, the magnet's not quite quick enough. So it, it, it doesn't suck up the items in time for them to not fall into, into water. So, it depends. So you're going to want like a big pool of water like this. Here, I'll demonstrate it here. I'll probably lose some obsidian if there's lava underneath this obsidian here. Um, the magnet's not quite quick enough. See how it hit the ground before, before it went into my inventory? So it's not super fast enough. So have like a big, like I have here bunch of water so that when the item entities drop they're in water and they'll kind of float a little bit more see how that works there's a pro tip for you all right so that should be then a ranged pump we're gonna want one two of these and ranged pump good to go beautiful loving it all right so that looks good i'm gonna put away some of the junk that i collected from while i was downstairs clearing out uh obsidian Looks good to me. I don't think we need any more obsidian at this moment. So the ranged pump will, given RF, create lava. Why is there... What? Well, at least he didn't blow up any chests or machines. But what? Where did he come from? Where did he come from, sneaky creeper? Sneaky, sneaky creeper. I don't know where he came from. I thought I lit up this area well enough. Oh, well. Gonna need an astral thing. Oh, I see an enderman on the map. I might have to go murderize him. Hang on. I mean, if he's gonna hang out right outside my door. I should eat first, though. I'm cooking up more potatoes. If he's gonna hang out right outside my door, I have to go kill him, right? I need me some endermans. Some more ender pearls. Where you at, buddy? There you are. Hello! I thought they fixed that thing where, like, you, when you break, when you break the grass, it doesn't, I don't know. I thought the grass thing was fixed in this version of Minecraft. Clearly, it wasn't that fixed. But hey, I got Ender Pearl and I'm happy. Dude, Ender Pearls are really good in modded Minecraft. There's a ton of stuff. So now that we've got the ranged pump, we also need a way to power it. So there's a couple things we could do. I think the best approach is to use a magmatic dynamo in the nether that's powered by the lava that we're pumping out of the nether. So I'm gonna make two magmatic dynamos here. Uh, I'm gonna make one, two. We're gonna need more invar though. So let's get ready to, how about 12 and three? Is it three or four? It's four, I think. 12 and four uh, would be what I need. So I'm gonna make two magmatic dynamos, one for my base here and one to power the pump in the nether off the lava that we're pumping out of the nether. So it'll like kind of self power itself and that'll be good times. Oh, and I got a grass block from that Enderman. Thanks, Enderman. I can remember early days of, of Minecraft. Several people had called me out for having grass blocks in my chest. They're like, you have grass blocks in your chest? You were cheating, Direwolf. And it was like right after Enderman came out. And everybody's like, no, Enderman can... Yeah, that's a thing now. So let's see. This dude here. That's two of them is what we're going to want. And two of you should be cool and that'll be two magmatic dynamos one here for my base right and one that's gonna go in the nether so let's also get some basic energy pipes we're gonna pop you here and i'm gonna stick my magmatic dynamo here and he's gonna be ready to generate rf off of lava cool uh so the other thing we're gonna want is a way to get that lava from the nether to uh the the base and we're also going to want a way to get the fluid out of the pump into the tank that we're going to make so oh you need slime balls really 
Really, with the slime balls? Ew. Why would you make Why would you make a basic fluid pipe require slime balls? What are my options here? I could do imprinted slime ball. I don't know what that is. Ah, uh, slime pearls. I'm just curious if there's like a so lime dye and dough from Create make slime balls. I mean, that's kind of all right. Uh, solidification chamber. Obviously, slimes drop it. We can do milk and that. We can do that. Centrifugal separator can get it from magma slimes, which is kind of cool. Uh, I feel like, I don't know what mod added this, but there was a mod on Forgecraft that you could put water in a cauldron and drop drop things in. And I'm not 100% sure what mod added it or how it worked. So I'm going to do two things. One, I'm going to kill that Enderman that I see on the map towards my water source. Two, I'm going to get two buckets of water so I don't have to keep running outside to get a bucket of water. But more priority, I want, a, I want another Ender Pearl. All right, Enderman. Excuse me, sir. Ender Pearl, please. How rude to not give me an Ender Pearl. Just training the zombies around the base. Zombies everywhere. Yes, sir, I see you. Honing available on my sword. Well, that's cool, beans. Got the ender pro? Let's run home. No, running home. I don't have time to even eat. But hey, I got honing, so that's cool. I don't know what kind of upgrades I can get, but I'm very excited about it. I don't think there's going to be much of a better sword hilt that I can get. So I'm going to sleep through this night. Just because. I'm gonna let the I'm gonna let the mobs die for a sec. Um, oh, also I lost my torch here. So let's see. Um, so we're gonna want a water source block. All right, infinite water source sound cool. So does this magma thing work? I don't know what mod added it is the problem. I just remember it was a thing on Forgecraft. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no, whatever mod that was is not part of this fact. So today we learned a new thing, new and important thing. Um, but let's hone the sword. Let's see what I can get from my honing sword now, right? So on the blade, we can hone for damage, which is cool, or speed. I think obviously damage is where we want to be, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that'll be plus 0.61 damage. I will take it. I will take it. So now he does 8.5 plus 21%. That'll be cool, because I've noticed that there's a lot of mobs I'm hitting twice, and they have, like, no hearts left. So I think that'll make most mobs two hits to kill. Cool. All right, so back to work for this. So if that basic fluid pipe is such a hassle to make with slime balls, uh, and slime balls are such a hassle to get, I could make a centrifugal separator and separate my magma creams, but that seems annoying. Or I could maybe do mechanisms... Uh, fluid transfer pipes. That might be the way I go. Slimes are just an annoying thing to get, unless there's a mod that adds, you know, easier stuff. So that just needs steel. And I said I needed to get into mechanism anyway, didn't I? I kind of said I did, right? So steel is going to need... Um, so if we want steel, then what we're going to want is steel grit from immersive, or not really, but uh, the, the, the mechanism steel. Where's the mechanism steel? That's immersive steel, that's why. That's why. Uh, let's or dictionary that. Where's steel from mechanism? Is there no steel ingot from mechanism? Where's mechanism steel ingot? Is that disabled? That's probably not intended. Uh, let me see about that. Never mind, figured it out. So yes, it's steel grit from immersive engineering, but it's crafted the same way that you normally would. So coal um or some kind of carbon right in a metallurgic infuser with enriched iron which is the same in a metallurgic infuser so we're going to want a quickie one of these probably so let's get ourselves an osmium doohickey and two of these what where are you guys coming from where is he indeed Ooh, steel boots don't mind if i do where could they possibly be coming from i thought i I lit this area up well enough down here. 
I mean, obviously there's this stuff, but you think there's really pathfinding from all the way down here? Oh. All right, so let's get into metallurgic infusing. And for that, we're going to need some coal, which I'm actually a little bit low on. Um, well, let's give it a shot, shall we? Uh, so we're going to need another basic energy here, here, thing here, dude. And we're going to want... Um, yeah, we're going to want a couple pieces of coal. So I think if I do that, that'll put 20 carbon in there. And then if we put one iron in, that'll use up 10 millibuckets of carbon fuel to make... So I think I need four of these totally. Uh, yeah, so that'll make enriched iron. So then two more coal will go towards what we need for uh, steel. Cool. So then that goes in there and that'll make steel dust. So one thing I was just talking to the to Sunaker who helped uh, put the pack together. Uh, FDB makes it a point to try and reduce duplicate ingots. So while steel from mechanism is not shown in JEI, it's all ore dictionary, right? And the recipes are still available for the steel from uh, whatchamacallit. So it's all good, what it comes down to. Actually, you know, let's do that and that, and that should be cool. And then you can redstone furniture steel grit, and that will make us a mechanism fluid pipe. Um, and I'm thinking I might want the configurator while I'm at it. We'll see, but I think I will probably want that. So let's do that. The upgrade. We're going to get into mechanism anyway, because we talked about, you know, the need for that. Uh, so I think it's probably a good time to do that. And let's add the configurator, which is basically the wrench from mechanism. So I'm going to want one, two, three, four infused ingots, which is going to be four redstone and four iron in this guy. So we're going to want four of you, and that'll make 40 millibuckets of redstone. And then four red iron, and that will turn into... Um, the stuff that we need. Cool? So we've got that going, we've got that going. There's your infused alloys, nice. I think we need two of those. Yes, and we're gonna need a little bit of lapis, which I have on me, which is good times. So do we have everything we need for this now? That would be you, yep, beautiful. Like that. Oh cool, he's filling himself up, nice. From my flux capacitor, beautiful. I love, the unification of all the powers. Like I get, who's drinking outside? Who's drinking outside my base? That's what I wanna know. Sweet. Oh, it's a wandering invisible trader. Hello, sir. Got anything good? Sea pickles and runelick tome. Renames a tool to use runelick when used at a smithing table. Hmm. Indeed. Hmm. I say to you. All right. So now we've got uh, the configurator. We've got the pump. So now let's look at the last thing we're going to want, which is an ender tank here. And that's the last component of what we need. So that's going to need actually a cauldron anyway. So since I made one of those, that's cool. We're going to want two en ender tanks though. Um, and for that, we're going to need blaze rods. Bum, 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 bum. And some kind of wool. So... Uh, let's do this. Let's put away all our stuff, because I don't think we need a lot of other things. Um, let's go into the nether and see if we can't find a nether fortress so we can get some blaze rods. Sound like a plan? All right, so we're going on a nether adventure. That sounds good to me. I've got all the stuff I need. Should I be bringing this with me into the nether? Probably not. So let's snag a quick uh, chest, if I may. I wood. I usually have wood on me. Actually, put that I definitely put some rotten flesh in the wrong chest. I know that much. Um, but let's get a chest. This is going to be my work in progress chest. Right? So the things like the ranged pump uh, and the magmatic dynamo and these guys and this thing. I don't need to bring them with me to the nether. And it would probably be somewhat foolish to do so. Because uh, we don't we don't really need them with me. So, But I also don't want to lose them in my chests. So let's sleep through the night. We'll pop into the nether and see what's up. All right, into the nether we go. Hooray! So you'll note that I did a little bit of terraforming here. This is something I did between episodes in preparation for this. Uh, and then it just leads straight down to a really nice spot that should get me easy access to a lot of lava. And that's pretty much what I was going for. Um, so with that in mind, what we need first, though, is blaze rods in order to transport our lava between dimensions. 
There may be another way to do it. I'm just not super familiar with what that would be. So let's look on our map real quick. Anything jump out as like, hey, that might be another fortress right nearby? No, because why would it? Why would it? Magma cube. No, thank you. I am not interested in whatever you're selling, sir. I like this sword, though. Let me talk to you guys about how much I like this sword. It's pretty nice. So we're going to need to... And it's it's such a rough spawn where I happen to be at. But this doesn't look too bad. So let's just head off in this direction and see if we can't see anything that looks like some kind of fortress. But it's an unfortunate nether spawn. I love, I love the basalt deltas. They look really cool. But boy, are they annoying to navigate. Right? Like, look at this. This is not the easiest terrain to navigate. And jumping into lava seems like a bad time. You know what would be cool is to do a warp stone. Yeah, once we find another fortress, we should warp stone back and forth between it. So let's just head off in this direction. Let's see, anything jumping out at me that might be nether fortressy? I like that there's a warped forest south of me. That's also a really cool biome. That's new in 116. Ow. Yeah, I don't want any part of you. Dude, really? You're not that big. Yeah, Basalt Deltas is definitely not the ideal. Yeah, what's happening? Definitely not the ideal place to be. I am so gonna die. Did I survive that? Holy cow. All right, we are going to need... Where's my pocket storage? Wow, look how much, look how much I already have. Cobblestone. Yeah, I hate magma slimes. Because their their entity is so large when they hit you, but it's also not that easy to hit them. Like that. That is not cool what they can do. They really knock you back a lot. Now I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Let me explore a little bit off camera. See if I can't find my way towards uh, another fortress, and we'll be right back. All right, new plan. Rather than trying to navigate the existing terrain, I am just digging a tunnel. <laughs> Uh, and I and I added this stuff to my pocket storage so that it all gets voided. But let's head for that warped forest and see if there's any luck there. So, that's cool sounds. Uh, we are kind of getting underneath the warped forest now. I'm not seeing anything on the map that looks nether fortressy. We'll keep looking. Hello, warped forest. Do like the warped forest. Like this is definitely one of my favorite biomes from uh, the update. Like I think this one looks super cool. I love it. I think it looks so awesome. So let's just head on through. Do we have a like waypoint or something? I should probably should probably add some kind of waypoint so I know how to get back. I think my plan here will be to um, let's switch you back to one by one mode. Now, how do I add a waypoint? Do I just hit plus? Add waypoint. Yes. Okay. Tunnel to portal. Accept. So now at least we know where that waypoint is. And how's it work? Is it okay? That works. That works for me. All right, so I'm just gonna like try and find a fortress. We'll be back if anything interesting happens or whatever. There's Endermen in this in this area too, aren't there? That's the other nice thing. This makes for like a good-ish kind of Enderman farm, I believe. I believe. I just heard one at least. Either that or it was a, it was a pigman. I don't even know. And watch out for fiery rats. Just a warning. Woot! I got a Santa hat. Yes! Fiery Rat attacked me and I got him. Alright. Officially, officially Santa Wolf 20. Enderman and another confirmed. Alright guys, we're back. And I finally caught wind of it. I was kind of exploring like around this-ish area. And it revealed enough of the map to see like a little sliver. So I wandered my way over here and I think I've got it. So finally, 
after a lot of looking, another fortress. Now, what I'd love to do, uh, if possible, I just get all excited when I see all this, all this. Uh, what I'd love to do, if possible, is get a waystone set up to here. Uh, I feel like that would be cool. So before I actually go in there and start fighting the dudes, um, because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to start fighting dudes and I'm going to die and then I'm going to be like, I wish I had a waistline. What is that noise? Oh, that's one of those dudes. No, thank you. I know, I'm not wearing gold armor. I know I'm not wearing gold armor. I think you guys are very upset. Ah, lava. Lava bad. Lava bad. Oh, rip. All right, well, here's what I'm going to do now. <laughs> uh, I should have the things here. I think, I think, where are my ender pearls? Did I put ender pearls in that? Yes, I put them in here. Cool. So I should be able to make a waystone, I think, right? Um, so that makes my life a little bit easier, right? So I'll make a regular waystone, which is this, which needs a warp stone, which is going to need some purple dye, uh, which is red and blue, obviously. Do we have a uh, pop? Should... Uh, actually, beetroot can do red, can it? Yes. And then lapis. Yeah, I knew there was a reason I planted beetroot. Blue dye, red dye, purple dye. Boom. That will get me a warp stone, which is cool, which I can use to make waste stones. Sweet. So three of them is uh, before. Smelt that up. Oof. Feeling, feeling the burn on this one, let me tell you. Can I put redstone in there? I forget. Is that, is that a thing this mod adds or avails itself of me? No, not so much. I might have to go mine just a smidgen of coal using my old diamond pick before I go get my stuff back. All right, easy peasy. A little bit of mining. So let's keep that. Let's put you away. Those under pearls I'm going to still need. That means I can now make a waystone with a few... Obsidian. So there's that waystone. And then I will take the sandy waystone that I had. So here's my plan. I'm going to jump through the nether portal. We will place the waystone on the other side of the nether portal. And then I'm not sure how the pack is configured, right? If it needs experience for same dimensional travel. I know on Forgecraft it was set up so that you didn't need to. I don't know if that's the default or what the deal is. But you are going to be named nether portal cool and then i need to head back to where my corpse was so i'll come back after i make that long run why are you inside my tunnel that i dug sir rude 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 let me tell you how rude that is to exist wow that was a really awesome swing okay all right so step one i just got my corpse back which is cool Step two, let's make our way to that nether fortress, place down the waystone, and hope that it's a good time. And having a little bit of experience ain't going to be a bad time either. So I'm going to mine some quartz so I get some more experience, because dying equals losing all my XP, which is sad. Now, zombie pigment, are we cool? We seem cool. Can I make this without any bridging? I think I can make that jump. <gasps> Survived! Woot! Alright, so now, hello, Nether Fortress. Nether Fortress. Check. Do. I didn't right click on the other side, did I? That's a bummer. That's gonna be lots of running, isn't it? That's gonna be lots of running. All right. Or I have a better idea. <laughs> That's a solution. That's a solution right there. And of course, it's nighttime, so that's very helpful. He said lyingly. Come on, another portal. This works, right? I would call this a viable solution to my problem. Hey, hey, it's free. And I made it a point to wound this wither skeleton quite a bit before I died. How's that? How's that for creative problem solving? 
Ooh, gold armor. Don't mind him. You know what? Not a bad idea. Make it so that the zombie pigman dudes don't hate me. Not the best armor in the game. But it'll do. Wow, lots of gold armor. I think what Minecraft is trying to tell me right now is you should be wearing gold armor, Direwolf, so that zombie pigmen don't hate you. <gasps> Another one, too. Alright. Sweet. So what I'm really looking for is blaze rods. And I think I hear a blaze, which is cool. Now I know where the waystone is. Ha ha! Now how did I not hit that? Why are you guys angry at me? What did I do? I think the sword has a little bit of a bigger reach than I expected to. And, uh, ooh, an interdiction torch from Rabbit Quarry. Don't mind if I do that. That sounds fun. I think that keeps mobs away, doesn't it? Pushes them. Alright, I'm going to farm, uh, some, some, some blaze rods. See if I can find a blaze spawner, and then we'll be back. I think in pure <clears throat> Direwolf 20 RNG luck, I can't find a blaze spawner in this place. And I'm questioning if there is one. Because it's possible for for things to spawn without a blaze spawner, right? Like, that's a thing that exists. Non-blaze spawnery. Yeah, I'm just not... I'm not seeing, like, a, a spot on the map where there's a ton of blaze spawning. And I'm, I've am i wandered all over this, <laughs> this, this stupid place, and I have found nothing by way of blaze spawning. So that makes me a little bit worried. But we'll see. Oh, look. Skeletons wearing hats, that's cool. No, not what I'm looking for exactly. Pretty sure there's no blaze spawner in this fortress, because of course there isn't! See, I had such a good spawn in the overworld, it had to get me back in the nether. It had to say, nope, your nether spawn's gonna be terrible on account of your... It took me a long time to find this fortress, too. Anyway, I'll be back. Alright guys, I think I actually did find one. Um, so what I've done is because we're getting kind of late in this episode uh i real quick off camera just built a cobblestone box around it and then i ran back to where my waystone was which i'm now going to remove and i collected it because i want to teleport directly to the blaze spawner rather than teleporting to the other side of the fortress from the blaze spawner so over here after much exploration i did find one uh which is cool so now i'm going to plant this dude right here. We'll call you Blaze Spawner now. Blaze Spawner. Done. Don't forget to right click him. Now I can uh, teleport back and forth from my nether portal to my Blaze Spawner at will, basically for free. Um, so that's good times. And hello, we have a Blaze Spawner. Look at that! Boom! All the things. And boy do they hurt. But it's cool. Ow, 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 ow. What's happening? Why am I on fire? Not ideal. Not ideal. Oh, you. You sneaky little guy. I didn't think he would shoot me from all the way over there. Got him, though. Got him, though. Alright, so now what I'm gonna do... <laughs> I am going to wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. And uh, what we'll do is I'll have enough blaze rods to do my my uh, magmatic RF thing. So when I come back next episode, I will have farmed enough blaze rods to do the thing. Whew, that is a good time right now. I like that. I like that a whole heck of a lot, let me tell you. I like that a lot, a lot. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll be in good shape. Cool. So for now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We've got a nice little blaze spawn action going on over here, which I'm excited about. I might clear out this just a little bit. I, for some reason, I feel like I might want... Ow. So close. Yeah, that feels a little bit better. But I definitely want, like, a nice hiding spot, too, if I, if I can. 
or I'm out of line of sight of these dudes. We'll see. I'll figure it out. But for now, we're having enough points. So double 20 sign off. Ouch, again with the fire. I gotta find a fire resistant something or other. I'm sure there's something fire resisty that I can get. But I'll catch you guys next episode. Uh, for now, double 20 sign off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Take it easy. Yeah, I like that a little better, I think.